Hey there! Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a very important topic to discuss, which concerns us all, especially those in the United States. It's not a secret that a devastating earthquake struck Turkey on the 6th of February 2023 with a magnitude of 7.9, causing massive destruction, numerous casualties, and widespread displacement. This earthquake affected at least 10 provinces. Now, let's take a moment to imagine what would happen if a similar earthquake were to hit a densely populated city like New York or Los Angeles. The impact could be catastrophic, both in terms of human loss and economic damage. Did you know that the population of New York City alone is over 8 million people? And Los Angeles has a population of over 4 million people. Just imagine the chaos and devastation that would result from such an earthquake. But let's look at some more specific numbers and facts. In Turkey, the earthquake affected at least 10 provinces, which cover an area of approximately 120,000 square kilometers. The earthquake caused significant damage to over 300,000 buildings, including homes, schools, and hospitals. And according to some estimates, the economic damage could exceed $100 billion. Now imagine if a similar earthquake were to hit a densely populated city like New York or Los Angeles. In New York City alone, there are over 1 million buildings, and the total value of real estate is over 1.3 trillion. Los Angeles has over 600,000 buildings, and the total value of real estate in the city is over $700 billion. The economic damage from an earthquake like this could be astronomical. But we should be concerned about not just the economic damage. The loss of human life and the displacement of people from their homes is also a significant concern. In Turkey, the earthquake caused numerous casualties and widespread displacement. Imagine if something like this were to happen in a densely populated city like New York or Los Angeles. Let's take a moment to reflect on the importance of preparedness and disaster planning. How can we ensure we are ready for a natural disaster, like an earthquake? What steps can we take to protect our homes, families, and communities? We need to ask these important questions ourselves, and we must start thinking about them before it's too late. So we will examine the potential impact on people, buildings, transportation, the economy, and the environment. Doing so raises awareness about the importance of earthquake preparedness and resilience. So let's get started. Impact on people. First and foremost, let's talk about the earthquake's impact on people. As we have seen in Turkey, earthquakes can cause significant loss of life, injuries, and displacement. According to official reports, the earthquake in Turkey caused at least 43,556 deaths and 108,068 injuries across the 10 most affected provinces. Moreover, about 1.5 million people were homeless due to the destruction of their homes or the fear of aftershocks. In the United States, a similar earthquake could devastate the population especially those living in densely populated cities or coastal areas. The risk of building collapse, landslides, and tsunamis could seriously threaten public safety. In addition, the disruption of critical services such as electricity, water, and healthcare could exacerbate the situation and lead to more casualties. Therefore, individuals, communities, and governments must prepare and respond to earthquakes with effective strategies and resources. Impact on buildings. The second major impact of the earthquake is on buildings. As we have seen in Turkey, earthquakes can cause severe damage to buildings, including collapse, partial destruction, or severe cracking. According to the reports, the earthquake in Turkey damaged or destroyed at least 164,000 buildings, including apartments, hospitals, mosques, churches, 
synagogues, museums, and historical sites. The destruction of the buildings affects the safety and well-being of occupants and has significant economic and social implications. The cost of rebuilding, repairing, or demolishing damaged buildings can be enormous, and the displacement of people can disrupt communities and social networks. In the United States, a similar earthquake could cause widespread damage to buildings, especially those constructed with inadequate seismic standards or in high-risk areas. Therefore, it is crucial to ensure that buildings are designed, constructed, and maintained to withstand earthquakes and to retrofit existing buildings as necessary. Moreover, it is essential to have an effective and timely response to assess, prioritize, and address the damage to buildings after an earthquake. Impact on transportation. The third major impact of the earthquake is on transportation. As we have seen in Turkey, earthquakes can cause significant disruptions to transportation networks, including roads, bridges, railways, airports, and ports. According to reports, the earthquake in Turkey caused wide road fissures, overturned train carriages, and obstructed railroads with rock slides. Moreover, the closure or damage of airports, ports, and other transportation hubs can affect the mobility of people and goods, leading to economic losses and social unrest. In the United States, a similar earthquake could cause similar disruptions to transportation, especially in areas with high traffic. As the days and weeks pass, the cities affected by the earthquake struggle to recover. Many buildings are still standing but have suffered severe damage, making them unsafe for occupancy. The government and aid organizations work tirelessly to provide temporary shelter and necessities to the millions of displaced residents. One major impact that would be felt immediately after such an earthquake would be the number of deaths and injuries. That at least 43,556 people were killed and 108,068 injured across Turkey's 10 most affected provinces. This would be devastating for any country, including the United States. Depending on the location and intensity of the earthquake, there could be even more deaths and injuries in the U.S., giving the country's much larger population and infrastructure. The number of buildings that would be affected is also staggering. Those 4 million buildings were affected in Turkey, with 345,000 apartments devastated. In the U.S., it is estimated that there are over 130 million housing units. If even a small fraction of those were destroyed or severely damaged, it would have a major impact on the country's infrastructure and economy. One of the major challenges after an earthquake of this magnitude would be the large number of people who would be left homeless. In Turkey, the United Nations estimated that about 1.5 million people were made homeless. This number would be much higher in the U.S. given the country's larger population. Finding shelter for all these people is a major challenge that requires significant government resources and assistance. Another major impact of an earthquake like this would be the damage to infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and airports. The Adana Sakirpasa Airport was closed due to runway damage, and the Gaziantep Ogazeli Airport was forced to restrict its service to rescue flights. The runway of the Hatay Airport was split and uplifted, leading to flight cancellations. If similar damage were to occur in the U.S., it would have a major impact on the country's transportation infrastructure, making it difficult for people to travel and transport goods. The impact on historical sites and cultural landmarks would also be significant. Many historical sites in Turkey were severely damaged, such as Gaziantep Castle, Sirvani Mosque, and Liberation Mosque. The historic Yenikami Mosque experienced a partial collapse, as did the Antakya Synagogue and the Habibi Nakar Mosque. The Cathedral of Annunciation, the seat of the Roman Catholic Apostolic Vicariate of Anatolia, was almost destroyed. In the U.S., many important historical sites and cultural landmarks could be similarly affected, such as the Statue of Liberty, the Golden Gate Bridge, and the Washington Monument. 
One of the major challenges after an earthquake like this would be the recovery efforts. Many people remained missing in collapsed buildings, and some trapped under rubble live streamed their pleas for help on social media. This would be a major challenge for first responders, who must work quickly and efficiently to rescue those trapped. It would also require significant resources and coordination between government agencies and organizations. The Role of Science Science plays a crucial role in predicting earthquakes and reducing their impact. Scientists use different methods to study earthquakes and predict their occurrence. They also develop strategies to reduce the impact of earthquakes on people and infrastructure. According to a study by the Southern California Earthquake Center, scientists are working on developing an earthquake early warning system that can provide advance notice of an impending earthquake. The system can help emergency services to prepare and respond quickly, reducing the impact of the disaster. Additionally, scientists are working on developing earthquake-resistant infrastructure. They are studying the design of buildings, bridges, and roads to make them more resilient to earthquakes. This can help reduce the damage caused by an earthquake and make the infrastructure more long-lasting. Preparation for an earthquake it is essential to be prepared for an earthquake. Knowing what to do during an earthquake can save lives. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, recommends taking the following steps to prepare for an earthquake. One, create an emergency plan. Have a plan in place for your family or workplace and practice it regularly. Two, build an emergency kit. Have essential items like food, water, and medical supplies ready. Three, secure your home. Secure furniture and other items that could cause injury or damage during an earthquake. Four, know what to do during an earthquake. Drop, cover, and hold on. This means dropping to the ground, covering your head and neck, and holding on to something sturdy. The government's role. The government is crucial in preparing for and responding to an earthquake. They should invest in infrastructure to make it more earthquake resistant and develop strategies to reduce the impact of a disaster. The government should also invest in research and development to better understand earthquakes and develop new technologies to reduce their impact. They should work with scientists and emergency services to develop effective earthquake early warning systems and disaster response plans. In conclusion, a massive earthquake on the scale of the one that struck Turkey in 2023 would have catastrophic consequences for the cities of the United States. The loss of life, damage to buildings and infrastructure, and displacement of millions of people would be devastating. The recovery efforts would be long and difficult, and the emotional and psychological toll on survivors would be significant. This highlights the importance of earthquake preparedness, building codes and public education on earthquake safety measures. While we cannot prevent earthquakes from occurring, we can take steps to minimize their impact and protect ourselves and our communities. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos on the mysteries of the universe. See you next time.